Hello everyone, welcome back. This video will be all about the black fungus. What are the causes, symptoms and signs, treatment, basically everything you need to know about the black fungus. What is mucormycosis? It is a general term that indicates any fungal infection caused by the class of zygomycetes. It is a serious but rare fungal infection caused by a group of molds called the mucormycetes. What causes mucormycosis? Now this fungus is present in many places which are easily accessible but it is not readily infectious means it is present in nature before the COVID-19 as well but it affects only those person who have compromised immunity. This mucormycosis fungus is present throughout the environment such as in soil particularly seen as decaying compost such as leaves compost piles and animal dung it is most commonly seen in soil so basically many people come in contact with this fungus and it is impossible to avoid the contact of this fungus these fungus aren't harmful to most of the people people who have compromised immunity if they breathe in this pores then that can lead to a very drastic severe situation who are at risk a person who has any debilitating disease or any comorbidity, for example, if a person has uncontrolled diabetes and uh, HIV, AIDS, any, any immunocompromised disease, malignancy, if a person has gone through splenectomy, if he has wounds, the person with all these are at highest risks for this fungal infection. What are the signs and symptoms of black fungus? At present, most commonly seen symptoms are as follows. Rhinocerebral mucormycosis, in which you can see fever, headache, reddish and swollen skin over the nose and sinuses. Visual problems, dark scabbing in the nose, swelling and facial pain. Second is the pulmonary mucormycosis, in which we see fever, coughing, with bloody or dark fluid production, shortness of breath, abdominal pain, spontaneous mucormycosis, initially reddish and swollen skin often adjacent to an area of skin trauma that becomes an ulcer with a dark center. In addition, it may not develop very quickly. It may take from few days to week for the symptoms to develop. How do we diagnose mucormycosis? Symptom diagnosis is based on the patient's history, risk factors for getting the fungal infection. Definitive diagnosis is very difficult. Although tests such as CT and MRI can help define the extent of the infection, there are no serological or blood tests which can be helpful. What is the treatment for mucormycosis? Treatment for mucormycosis should be fast and aggressive. The need for the speed is because even when the presumptive diagnosis is made, the person, there is so rapid infection and damage of the tissues, it becomes difficult to reverse the condition back. Some patients may require both surgical and medical treatment. Without extensive deprivement of the infected area, if it is not done, then the patient is most likely to die. Mainly here, antifungal medications are given to stop the progress of the disease. Whereas, patients with risk factors such as uncontrolled diabetes and immunocompromised patients and those who have uh, malignancy, they should try to take care of their disease which is present whereas the main problem which is going on here during the covid situation is many steroids are being given to the patients and these uh, fungal infection these are opportunistic and they seize the opportunity and infect the person who are immunity has been decreased